I am a transgender man currently under the care of a gender identity clinic. Please refer to me as he and him and make an effort to use gender neutral terms regarding pregnancy and birth, i.e. pregnant people rather than pregnant women. I will be father to my child, as will my husband Alex, so please do not refer to either of us as a mother or mum. This is extremely important for my mental and emotional well-being. Like the weirdest pregnancy announcement ever known to man. Gender of the day. <sighs> Suck on this Beyonce. You... <laughs> All my memories of my childhood are, are here. This is the best part of the woods because the majority of my time was spent here, basically, with my friends. The whole gender thing just wasn't an issue then because I wasn't trying to be anything that I wasn't. I just had my short hair, my boys' clothes, my boys' toys, my boy mates. It was only much later when people started expecting me to actually be a girl that I was like, hang on a minute, this is really <laughs> not right. I'd never even like heard the word transgender. I didn't really understand that that was something that I could think about. I had short, spiky, like punky hair, desperately trying to find an identity for myself that I felt comfortable in. I think my mum flourished as an artist because she had this right next to her house. I know she used to come here with me when I was little and sketch. And sometimes if she'd find like a dead butterfly or something, she'd take that home and she'd use that to paint from real life, which was really, really cool because I used to help her. Dorian, come on you. Right, we've got to do mother and son stuff. OK, get some plates out for me, sweetie. Can you eat the olives? They're good for you. Oh. Yippee. Yeah. Healthy. Healthy fats for you. That's Dorian in the woods next to our little house in Cheshire, looking for fairies, you see, which he obviously found one. It was very confusing to start with. I wasn't sure if he whether it, it was to do with his sexuality or he just wants to dress up as a boy. I realised it was serious, though, when he said he didn't actually like, um, like his boobs. This was um, one of his phases. I would say he was probably about 17 here when he used to wear all these wonderful um, corsets and uh, he used to like to dress up with different wigs and things like that as well but he used to look totally amazing, complete unique characters. You'd never know what he was going to wear. I quite liked that, actually. I thought that was really exciting, but I didn't know it was a conflict for him because he was actually struggling with his identity. This is probably the last painting I did of Dorian, to be honest with you, as a female. I think Dorian's a little uncomfortable with it, to be honest, which is a shame. Um, but it is the last one, and it's, of course, at, at a time where he's more sensitive now as he's older, I suppose. It's definitely fair to say that my relationship with my mum's art is complicated. Particularly paintings of me that she used me as a model when I was in my, like, my early teens are really quite difficult for me to see because a lot of them are very womanly, I suppose is the only way to word it, very shapely, lots of curves, and it's just uncomfortable to see that and sort of be reminded that, that that's me. So I'm, I'm very detached from it, really. I think I'm massive right now, but like everyone's telling me that... I need to get a sock. <sighs> you had to interrupt, didn't you? Could have knocked. I think he looks fine. <laughs> fine, it's not really... I'm sort of proud of my bump. It's like, yay, you know, there's a baby, but 
I like I'm really like just repulsed by my body at the moment so yeah that's why I've been wearing lots of like baggy things is to try and kind of like hide it for as long as possible I don't like the effect it's having on me physically in general so yeah I'm good, thank you. Good, nice to see you. Okay. Oh, great. I'm planning to have a home birth, so I know that all the people around me are going to be very supportive. They're going to make sure they use the right pronouns and name and everything. So as long as I have a good support system around me, I think I'll be able to get through it with, without it being too terrible for me. So normal heart rate for a baby is between 110 and 160 beats a minute, and that heart rate's fine. So the uh, other midwives will obviously be aware of my situation then because mm -hmm. yeah. that's the whole reason that I want to have a home birth is the idea of being in a hospital and having strangers coming and going yeah. into the room who won't be aware of it would not be great for me. So. Yeah. And part of today's appointment is um, an opportunity for us to basically put anything down on paper in terms of like a birth plan for you guys and things that you cool. may or may not like. What would make you uncomfortable and what would make you comfortable? Do you just mean have people's lack of awareness? Is that what yeah, you mean? people saying she and her. And... Right, got it. Okay. Um, in terms of gas and air. Yes. So we carry the gas and air. We don't generally tend to offer you pain relief because if you're going to offer pain relief to a labouring woman, they're going to take it. Um, so a labouring man. In this case. Man, sorry. <laughs> okay. um, they're going to take it. You looked very dramatic, by the way. You're just, like, just lying there. I would have liked to go through the transition process with Dorian, but that probably wouldn't be great because it'd be like two men going through puberty again. So it wouldn't, we wouldn't be emotionally ready to... <laughs> it's literally like going, like you're 14. So your voice drops and you're kind of emotional in a way I don't think we could both be at one time. <laughs> I didn't like my first puberty, so I don't know if I'm going to like my second one. Aww. Where's his head? It's somewhere there. It's always there. Yeah. We'd always wanted children, like, basically just after the wedding, both of us were just getting really broody. We were like, I want a family, I really want to have a family. So it kind of occurred to us that one of us was going to have to bite the bullet and carry the baby. Having a family was super important to me, but also so is transitioning. There's not enough known really about how hormone therapy affects someone's ability to have children. But also on top of that, I had waited three years to get to the position where I was able to start hormone therapy through the process. Um, and I really didn't want to start hormone therapy and then have to stop and start my transition again to have a baby. He called me at work and told me he was pregnant. And then I had to come He didn't down. even say it was Dorian or anything. He was like, it's happened. <laughs> and I was like... I only took a pregnancy test because we were going out for a meal with my family that night and I wanted to know if it was all right for me to have a couple of glasses of wine with my meal. And it was positive and it was just like, are you kidding me really now? As the bump gets bigger and it's more visibly obvious that I'm pregnant, Going outside has been difficult, really, because a lot of my dysphoria comes from how other people are seeing me. It, it's bad enough that I obviously have these feelings about my own body a lot of the time, but it's compounded by other people with the, hi miss, hi ma'am, you know. No, well, my mind's set with it. I'm quite content with it. Yeah, just that, yeah. It's yeah. just that I slip up now and again. Oh, no, it's fine. You're going to slip up. That's with the thing. She, you know, and her... It, it it's fine, something. though. The fact that you, you... correct yourself. Mm. And a lot of people, people don't. don't correct themselves. Yeah. yeah. I do. 
when I say it. <laughs> I do a knock on wrong. No, I know, because you do immediately correct yourself. It's yes, fantastic. It's really good. Yeah. She was so unhappy in you. That's you know, that's why you know how yeah. I was so miserable for we all those were years. About was, you, your that's now. why when I like came out, I thought I'd have to choose. I thought I'm gonna have to decide whether I want to be who I actually am, or have children and like have like a normal family, which I also really wanted. So the fact that I met Alex and the fact that we're doing this, it's great. I get to do both, so I didn't have to choose in the end. Oh, no, I'm dear. looking forward to it. And yeah. It'll be a double. The last week, it feels like I've suddenly got like a bowling ball in my stomach. It's horrible. You have to help me put my socks on. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's really embarrassing. I can't oh. bend over to put my socks on. I have that top so. every day. <laughs> so when you've had your baby, you're going to go full ahead. Yes, that's the plan. That's change. the plan. February, March mm. is what I'm aiming for. Yes. Good. So that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pleased by you. Mm. My grandparents are actually fantastic with my situation. When my grandmother first found out, her reaction was, oh no, it, it's fine, I understand this completely, here's a hundred pound, go buy yourself a suit. It says a lot to me that some people don't try and simply sort of kind of refuse to try and understand it or wrap their head around it, because if my 86-year-old blind grandmother can get it, then, you know, what's your excuse? Like, I'm 100% sure it's a girl, but I'm gonna look really stupid if today they turn around and go, oh, you're having a boy. So baby's lying across you today. Baby's heart beating away beautifully there. Baby likes curling up. It's like a little hedgehog at the moment. <laughs> Final question then, boy or girl, what yeah. do we reckon? We've been betting girl. I'm just saying girl, let's have a close look. Baby's got a hand there. There's definitely a pokey outy bit there. So I think this is going to be a little baby boy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I will be surprised if this is anything other than a little baby boy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. Like, actually, the asked by a lot of other trans people, why are you saying your son and why are you using like he, him pronouns? Aren't you going to let him like figure it out for himself? And for me, working out my gender was a really difficult, difficult process. Most of the world, their gender matches how they were born. So to me, saying like completely gender neutral for my child is kind of forcing him to go through the what is my gender kind of mentality. Did you grab my gun? I grabbed your gun, it's here. I hope the neighbors don't hear that. Cosplay is fancy dress, but you are playing or representing a character from a book or a movie or a TV series, I genuinely think it's fantastic because this is how Dorian and I met. You don't usually get to wear a beard walking down the street. You don't get to wear a baggy shirt so you don't see your chest. You don't get to wear a cravat so no one sees that your neck's a bit delicate. You don't really get to do that and I feel very masculine when I Cosplay is Grantaire, obviously, because he has a beard. He wears clothes that I couldn't wear and I couldn't pull off unless I was pretending to be someone else. It really is how I make myself feel a bit better. This is so depressing. They're worse things. They're normally so flattering. It's actually quite depressing. Because this is normally something that makes me feel a bit attractive, almost, because it's like the waistcoats and the cravats and everything. It's a very handsome look, but I can't really pull it off right now, can I? I really hope I don't, like, induce labour by <laughs> squeezing into them. For me, in my particular predicament, it's just a short period of time where I, I don't have to worry so much about how I feel about myself, about my appearance. 
it's kind of an escape in a way. The reason that I like this character so much is because in the book he is described as having the appearance of a 17-year-old girl. So he's described as very feminine, long hair, quite pretty. Um, and I think until I'm able to start hormone therapy and deal with how I feel about my appearance, it's kind of weirdly empowering to go, hey, this is a character who's very distinctly male, very distinctly masculine, quite famous in a lot of classical literature sort of thing, but looks like me in that sense. So I think that's one of the reasons I'm really drawn to this character is that it makes me feel better about looking the way that I do. This Don't isn't... tilt your hat like that, come on. Hey, I'm American. It's very obvious if I turn to the side that I'm about to have a baby. So, yeah, it's not fitting great. <laughs> He was worth it. He was worth it. It was horrible, but he was worth it. Did not go the way I wanted it to go at all. I wanted to have him at home, somewhere where there'd be less medical stuff, where it'd be less traumatising, where I'd be relaxed and safe and comfortable. Um, it was going to be really, really nice, and then he obviously had other ideas. I had um, one midwife there who was awesome with my like pronouns and everything and would like lift Julian up and go, all right, time to go to dad and stuff like that and pass him to me. So that was, that was really nice, that helped a lot. Just over me. I know you're hungry. You've just been complaining about it. Chest feeding's actually going really surprisingly well. I'll pop him on and then cover up with a scarf, like if I was outside or something, and just let him get on with it, really, is how I'm dealing with it. I love it when you give me your hand. It's very, very weird. It's like when I try and visualise that part of my body, it's kind of fuzzy almost, you know? There's just nothing. Now there's actually, like, a reason for them being there. So it does sort of take the edge off a little bit. I've just read over the information about registering a baby's birth in Somerset. The information you will need to provide is not particularly applicable to me and Alex. It doesn't even mention what to do if it's two men registering a baby's birth, let alone the transgender issue. So yeah, there's, there's nothing. I don't actually know what to put. It says information you need about baby, father, and then mother. So that's, that's it. So I don't really know what to put. Hi, tomorrow I'll be registering my son Julian. Well, both Dorian and I are transgender men, and we were kind of wondering and confused about what we'd have to put on the birth certificate. No, we haven't. It's a difficult process, so. So he'd have to be mother because he gave birth to the child and I'd have to be second female parent. Sorry, that's just 
really heartbreaking to both Dorian and I. Um, bye bye. What did they Give say? Give me a second. They didn't say anything I hadn't expected them to. Whoever bears the child has to be put down as mother. Dorian, when he finds out what will have to be on Julian's birth certificate, will be just as dev devastated as I am, maybe even more so. So today I called the registry office because um, we both had questions about yeah what we'd have to put on the birth certificate in regards to Odds. us. Yeah. And we've got some bad news, actually. Apparently the person that bears the child has to go down his mother. Well, that's ridiculous. Great. And when we transition, they don't think we'll be able to change it. Seriously? Unless the law changes. It better change, because that's going to screw things up for him. Basically just makes me feel like crap, because it's like... I have to go down as something I'm not on his birth certificate. Like, he's always going to know me as his father, yeah. but his birth certificate, which is going to be seen by official people and, like, members of the public, essentially, in a sense, like, is going to be incorrect. And that really pisses me off, to be quite honest. <laughs> We're all about LGBT rights, except trans people, you can't put down your actual gender on your child's birth certificate. It's silly. So if they change the Gender Recognition Act, they better change laws to go with it. People will probably just assume that I'm his mother, which is going to be difficult, and I'm just going to have to be brave and actually correct people. But hopefully it won't be very long, because I'm hoping to be on hormone therapy next year, and then that will change. I'm so unbelievably proud of myself for going through with it. And I pushed through and I made myself push through because we wanted to have a family. And now I'm, I'm so, so glad that I did. Mm -hmm.